Well, if you've watched me for any length of time, you know that part of my job here on the four to five is to keep you up to date on the latest local, state, national, and sometimes even global headlines. So with that in mind, this just in, it's World Candle Month, in case you didn't know. I decided to take a look back at the history of our little scented friends. Here is your history lesson for the candle, something we take for granted today, but it goes back a long time ago. In fact, evidence dates back to 3000 BC. You're talking more than 5,000 years ago when early Egyptians were known to use candles, a very elementary form, but it did have a wick somewhat. In the Middle Ages, Europe began using beeswax. You may have seen this at Old Salem where they still do that art or that craft. But that was expensive back in those days, and because of that expense, usually only churches or the very wealthy had candles. Well, all that would change because the candles that we know today, the general style and the way they make them, began in the early to mid-1800s when they discovered wax or paraffin could be used for that. That made mass production possible, and it became less expensive. Now everybody can enjoy candles. And in the early 1900s, when electricity came along, Candles now shifted from a, for a source of light to more of a form of entertainment. And obviously, that continues kind of today. In the 1980s is when scented candles became all the rage, which is still the case today. They're used for decoration and to set moods. Now you know more information than you ever wanted to know about candles to brighten your day. Get it? <laughs> Horrible pun. I'm sorry. I apologize. Uh, so I will say this, Maddie, what I took away from all that, it was interesting, but I did not know that 1980s, that late, was when scented candles became so popular. They had been around, right. but not really that popular till then, because to me, that's not that long ago, but so that's me. I know that you are not a fan of the scented candles. They give you a headache. No, you told us that earlier today. Um, I love scented candles, and I'm really excited to put out my fall scented candles. We're not there yet. Don't worry. I still have my <laughs> peony and rose candles for the summer, but I will make that transition to apple cider and maybe pumpkin spice.